Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and I want to sneak in a really quick, hopefully short video about some really concerning things that Nikola is doing by trying to intimidate content creators on YouTube. It appears to be at the moment much smaller YouTube pages who are outspokenly critical about Nikola's business practices. So much so that Nikola has done a copyright strike against these content creators for some of the content that is Nikola's that these content creators have put in their videos. And as best as I can tell, it is fair use. And rightly so, these content creators are upset and concerned. And what bothers me the most about what Nikola is doing is they're utilizing this as a way to dissuade people from talking freely about their opinions about the company. Regardless of whether you agree with their opinions or not, it's not right, and I'm really concerned. I think Nikola is putting the wrong focus on things. They should be focusing more on getting their products to market, not trying to intimidate small content creators on YouTube with copyright strikes. Why? Why is Nikola doing this? Why are they wasting their time by trying to remove content, remove videos on a copyright strike basis? It is an utter waste of time, in my opinion, and it's not focusing on the right things and this makes me even more concerned for Nikola's business practices. This is on top of all of the other things that have sort of hit the fan over the last couple of weeks with their Nikola one, Trevor Milton, the accusations around Trevor Milton, all of this stuff is just, it's, this is a House of Cards style Netflix series in the making, I can assure you. But I'm putting a video out like this because I think that it's important for everyone to know and understand what's going on. This is the wrong focus and it's going to create even more animosity and scrutiny against Nikola. The fact that they're doing this, and this is not just YouTube content creators. Trevor Milton's attorney has also sent a letter to whole Mars catalog run by Omar Kazi to try and intimidate him as well. All of this is the wrong focus for the company. If the company is legitimate and they have legitimate products, why not accelerate the timeline? Why not put the money that they're spending on legal and marketing to try and chase all of these people down? Why not put it into getting their products out sooner? If if they are a legitimate company. And there's a big question mark there in terms of whether they are a legitimate company. There's still a small sliver of hope that they can pull this off, that they are who they say that they are, but stuff like this, things like what I'm talking about in this video, make it really, really hard for me to believe that they are a legitimate company. So there's a couple of things that content creators can do. One is reach out to YouTube and let them know that this is going on. And two, if you do get a copyright strike, there is a way to object to that copyright strike. In fact, I checked and I do have a copyright strike in my account now that shouldn't be there. And I didn't realize this, but I'm going to object to this. So you need to go into the monetization for that particular video. You'll see here that it is ineligible and you can view the details of why the video is not eligible. It will also indicate the footage that that person is claiming as a copyright strike. In this case, they're actually claiming that Tesla's video footage is their own, which is incorrect. So what I'm gonna do here is select action and I'm going to dispute I have the rights to use this content according to Tesla, and I'm gonna select fair use. I have significantly transformed the content claimed in my video. The video is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or similar exceptions to copyright. I'm gonna select the box that says, I believe my video is protected under fair use, fair dealing, or similar exceptions to copyright.
I'm going to go with educational video as the type and say this is Tesla, Tesla's content provided from their press kit. I'm going to select these boxes. Yes, yes. Enter my digital signature and hit submit. Now, if you're a viewer and not a content creator, please share these videos out. I'll put a list of some people who've spoken out against what Nikola is doing to try and intimidate people utilizing their free speech. So in summary, this is the wrong approach for Nikola. They should not be doing this. In fact, this will have a negative effect on what they are trying to accomplish. They should be focusing on getting their products to market, getting them into production sooner than what they've said if, this is a big F, if the company is legitimate. Trying to intimidate content creators and people speaking against the company will actually magnify people talking about it in this way, which is exactly why I'm creating this video. My guess is that the pressure the exposure of all of these people, these content creators and people on Twitter talking about how insane this is that Nikola is doing this will pressure them to pull back massively. What are your thoughts on this? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Sean Mitchell, All Things EV. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch everyone on the next video.